Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. They want us to write the following expression in scientific notation. So uh, that's one number completely in scientific notation. That's what they're implying. So here, they didn't write a multiplication sign, but that's implied. Two numbers, both in parentheses, next to each other, imply multiplication. So I'm going to multiply 10 to the third by 10 to the fourth. That's 10 to the seventh. We add those exponents. But we're still stuck with the 1.2 times 2.3. So, so here, I'm not really sure. Uh, I haven't come up with a nice, neat way of doing this. I'm just going to stack these two numbers. And that's, for me, the stacking method of multiplication exists when you run out of alternatives. Uh, but I would love to hear if there are any ideas on this. Okay, so what do we do? We multiply all the parts. 2 by 3 is 6, 2 by 2 is 4, 1 by 3 is 3. I shifted over place value because instead of multiplying tenths, this 2 is in the tenths place, I'm now multiplying by 1, which is in a larger place value, so the whole answer shifts over to a larger place value. 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 2 is 2. Now we add these parts up, 2, 7, 6. Where does the decimal go? Well, if you, if you think about, if you did 23 times 12 and you did all the calculations, right, you get the same thing, that would be 276. But we're not doing 23 times 12, we're doing 2.3 times 1.2. 2.3 divided by 10 would get you 2.3. So if we just had 2.3, the whole answer would be 27.6. It would be 10 times smaller because one of the numbers is 10 times smaller. But in fact, both numbers are 10 times smaller. So overall, the whole overall product is 10 times smaller and another 10 times smaller. It's 100 times smaller. So we take our result and we move our decimal here twice right, to represent that 100 times smaller, and we get 2.76. Okay, if you don't like that explanation, uh, another way to do it is to count the digits to the right of your uh, decimal point. That will match the number of places you move the decimal point. So there are two digits here. So when we face this spot, we move our decimal two places. Same idea. Anyway, this is uh, 2.76 times 10 to the 7th, right? And that's our answer in scientific notation. Thanks.